to battle for first this weekend, Coach. You haven't backed down from anyone all year, already beat some of the best teams in the country. What are you most proud of what the team has already accomplished so far this season? I, I'm most proud of kind of uh, our, our mindset. I really do think that we're taking uh, each game very seriously. We haven't come out and um, walked through the motions very often. So I've just been excited about us staying in our bubble, worrying about us and controlling what we can control. Jill Compton's earned back-to-back -back Mountain West Pitcher of the Week honors as you've won seven of the last eight, including a sweep at Colorado State. Talk about Jill's role and how her efforts help drive the team's success. She's vital. I mean, pitching is the name of our game. So, um, you know, Jill struggled early on in the season and really kind of honed it down, put in some extra work. We did a couple of mechanical adjustments and, you know, uh, our team, everybody will tell you if, if she goes out and throws a good game, we can beat anybody in the nation. She's that type of a pitcher. Um, you have, a, she has an off speed, you know, and a change up. And I think, you know, from a pitching standpoint, your job as a pitcher is to, you know, put a team on their heels, make them just miss, make their timing off. And that's the pitch that, that really do that, that really, you know, kind of, exemplifies that um, and I think you know she's a junior she's been here she's done that this is not her first rodeo um, each year if you look at kind of how she's progressed she's gotten better and better and um, I'm just excited to see what you know what this year holds for her now, offensively and defensively Brenna Moss is your table setter a senior leadoff hitter dangerous threat every time that she gets on the bases what do you like most about what she brings as that senior leader to your program confidence. Uh, Brenna Moss gets in the box every time and it's not a matter of how, like if she's getting on, it's how she's getting on. Um, she's doing a great job of getting walks, making sure that our, our as a leadoff she's seeing pitches so our team can kind of see pitcher tendencies. You know, she's done slap, she's hit away. Um, she's just, she's a pain in the neck if you're playing against us to have to face. She's, you know, obviously a, a threat on the base path. So that, that's somebody, that's what you want your senior to do. And I, and I think she's done a great job. Now San Jose State is a potentially explosive uh, team that's won four straight, five of its last six. What are some of the key challenges that you're going to face this weekend? Uh, offensively, if keep them at bay. I mean, you look at their lineup, they have over half of their lineup is hitting above 300, which is, you know, uh, Coach Turner has done a great job. He's done a great job since he's taken over that program. Um, I think they're gritty. I think, um, you know, for us, it's, you know, still for us to play our game. So that would be, you know, working ahead of batters, getting ground ball outs, uh, Jill keeping them off balance. And for us, it's getting a good pitch to drive. So um, I think if you look at San Jose State when we played them last year, um, when we put the ball in play, they, they had a couple of miscues. And I think uh, we didn't take advantage of them. And, and against Colorado State, I thought we did a great job of that. The, when they had some miscues, we took advantage. And so for us to kind of continue that tendency. Yes. Uh, you're 10 and 4 at home, 22 and 10 overall. Uh, tell us what the red wave means to you being back at home and what, yeah. what it's like to play in front of the fans. This is such a special place. I think everybody that comes and visits and gets to experience what it's like to play here um, is always jealous, you know. Um, I think for us, our girls love it. They love coming home. They love the, the excitement in the crowd. When you get here game day, you can feel their presence, you know. Um, I think for us being at home against a, a conference a, opponent that's 3-0, and I think it works in our favor. And you know, I'll take anything and everything we can get working to our advantage. Now, last year, really close to winning the Mountain West Championship, going to the NCAA tournament. I, I know you can taste it, <laughs> but what, what, what's it going to take from the team? And we, we talked to Joe, we talked to Brenna, one game at a time. But what's it going to take from that mindset that you talked about earlier to get over that hump and get to where you want to be at the end of the season? It's really them taking, taking that uh, up to bat, taking that pitch by pitch, taking it. Um, ground ball to ground ball. Um, I think we could clean up some things defensively. Um, and it really is about worrying about today, right now, this moment versus the long term. Last year was last year, and, and as close as we, could, we were, we didn't get it done. And so I think them still having that taste, you know, I still have that taste in my mouth, um, has really driven driven them. I mean, last, you know, taking three games out of Colorado State, I think that kind of proved where their heads are at, and I, and I hope we just continue. And lastly, what are you most looking forward to about this weekend and getting back on the field and that chance to go one and zero? Oh Ws. <laughs> Uh, I look forward to, to our excitement, us bringing our game. I enjoy watching our team play. I enjoy watching them execute. Um, you know, 
as mo most coaches will tell you, you don't get a lot of sleep through the week. You know, you're worrying about game planning. What about this? What about that? So I get excited when it's game day because then that means I sleep a little bit better, kind of. But um, really, just getting out in the field and, and competing. Thanks, coach, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you, and uh, hope to see you out there.